Good morning, world. It's John Jackson with Comfort Farms. Um, all right, so today we are finishing up on our last um, our last mixture for for mash. And uh, one of the things that we like to do with some of our our clients is to finish them out uh, properly, and especially for our restaurant clientele, um, we like to use a beer of their choice, um, preferably. Um, a beer that uh, that they use in a micro that, that's a microbrew or a local beer and we go ahead and we make this mash where we finish our hogs out on this mash and what that does it infuses great great flavor uh, for charcuterie and that's the main thing uh, that we do um, on a boutique farm especially if you're looking to uh, capitalize on um, on the efficiencies of your your space because it's smaller uh, one of the things you want to do is offer a higher product. Don't go to the crap market. Be able to go to the uh, to the higher market and do something real special, especially for your clients that wanting that are wanting something special. And what we do with our hogs, uh, we have the uh, the Royal Yabalas. I'm going to show you those in a minute. Um, we're actually going to uh, do a uh, a mixture, a concoction that we do. Um, where we finish them out. And uh, these guys are gonna go to uh, the processor here pretty soon, but this is their last day of mash and uh, we're gonna give them the reverence they deserve. All right, take care. Yeah. All right, friends, I'm with Chef Blair Machado. Hey, uh, hey um, as we talked about, we're about to go ahead and do our mash for our hogs and we're gonna show you the concoction that we're doing. Uh, all right, Blair, let's let's get going. What we got here, man? All right, so man, the first thing we're gonna do is our rye oats here. Okay, gotcha. We got some split corn here. Nice. And then finishing with our uh, seed over here, uh, nice. a little split as well. Nice, um, man. We're gonna do equal parts of these grains nice. to our classic city lager which is coming out of Creature Comfort uh, Brewery out of Athens, Georgia. Right, um, and, and so um, which, uh, what restaurant are we working with on this? Uh, so we got we got uh, Acre out of uh, Alabama with nice. uh, Chef um, uh, David Bancroft yeah, and man. his chef de cuisine, uh, Jeffrey Compton. Jeffrey Compton, yes, sir. good so, deal. So uh, we're gonna finish this uh, mash real quick and get it fermented overnight to feed them up in the morning okay cool man so while you're working on that i'm just going to show what we got here all right guys so we got this uh we got oats and, and one of the things that we're doing with uh with our oats is you want to make sure that you get a feed oat like if you're going to make a mash you want to make sure that you're getting feed oats the reason you want to get that feed oat is because of the um the solubility of it, right? These oats, oats are, are kind of like, they're, they're open, they'll be able to process them a lot more instead of passing straight through. And uh, that's what you wanna do. And so what we're doing is we're doing three cups of feed oats, three cups of cracked corn, and then we got three cups of rye uh, that's going up in there as well. So we got our rye. Yeah, so, see, we got our rye that's going in here. And this is the, this is the, uh, the actual concoction that we come up with and we're gonna finish this off with three cans of classic city lager from Creature Comfort. Talking about why we do this, um, one of the things with the Royal Yabali, they have the propensity to really take the flavor of their food and infuse it into the meat. And when you're looking for like beautiful, nutty flavor with, with great fat, this is what we're looking for. Um, so uh, for, for centuries past, uh, one of the things, one of the things that they've always done was they always fed these high quality um, hogs rye. Why we don't use the um, the spent rye grain because there's no nutrition in it. All the nutrition is in the beer, right? So a lot of people want to use a lot of people want to use this. Uh, these, uh, what do you call it, uh, you know, spent grain, you really don't get any nutrition, especially when it comes to hogs with this. And so we make this up where this beer is sitting, these hogs are going to go eat, and they're going to have a really good, good time with this um, with this concoction that we make. I mean, man, if you so can John, smell tell it. me this, we leave this to sit overnight to yeah. let that beer absorb into that grain, right? Yes. That's where that's gonna get that absorption. Yeah. That mash is gonna really create yes. that flavor profile that we're yeah. looking for. Yep. But really finishing them on that nutrients like you were talking about that comes right. from that beer Absolutely. with the mixture of it Absolutely. all, man. That's awesome. Because bro. once we go ahead and put that, once we put the um, once we put the beer inside of this mash, what it does is 
it softens the hulls of these and makes it more soluble. So that way, the, the TGN of this particular feed is closer to 100%. You're going to have some fiber in there, which is great, but they're going to be able to... Oh, oh, oh.